Now we're going to talk about solving problems involving anti-differentiation. So first is we're going to be introduced to differential equations. Differential equations are equations that involve x, y, and the derivatives of y. For example, it's dy over dx is equal to 2x plus 5. The solution for this one, so just like any equation, we're going to find for the solution. So instead of solving for x, we're going to solve for y, which is x squared plus 5x plus y is the solution. So because if you're going to get the derivative of this one, you're going to get 2x plus 5, or just like x squared, so the derivative of x squared is 2x plus 5, the derivative of 5x is 5, the derivative of 1 is 0. So the answer for this differential equation is y is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 1. So that's what we're going to do in here. So we're going to solve for the differential equation. Number one is dy is equal to dt is equal to 1 over 4y. So the first thing we're going to do is to separate them. If they are separable equations, which means lahat ng y itabi mo sa kabila at lahat ng may x itabi mo sa kabila. So you're going to separate those variables uh, those terms with the same variables. For example, in here, si dy itabi mo kay y at saka si dt ilipat mo dito sa kabila. So, how are we going to transpose lahat ng y dito, lahat ng may dt dito sa kabila? Sa left, sa left side ang y, sa right side ang t. So, what how, what are we going to do? So, first, um to transpose dt, all you have to do is cross multiply. So, instead here, multiply it to the numerator. So, ang matira na lang dito is dy. So, tapos 1 fourth y times dt. So, because you transpose this one or you cross multiply. Next, ang y naman, para may lipat sa kabila, you're not just going to simply transpose it. May ilipat mo lang sa kabila. Because, katabi niya si 1 fourth. So, all you need to do is divide both sides by y para makancel siya dito tapos mat malipat siya sa kabila. So, ang nangyari, it's dt over 4 or 1 fourth dt tapos dy over y dito. Next, after that, you're going to get now the integral. So, then you're going to get the antiderivative. So, get the integral. So, it would be, it would look like this. Y, um, 1 over y dy, that's for this one, is equal to the integral of 1 fourth in respect to t. So, the, der and the integral of 1 over y is ln absolute value of y and the integral of 1 fourth dt is 1 fourth t so that's it for next what we're going to do is you're going to add c plus c so that's plus c so after that you're going to to um kailangan na solve for y so paano mo kukunin si ln absolute value of y. So, what you're going to do here is ganito. So, you're going to make that an exponent of e para makancel mo si ln e 1 fourth t plus c. So, cancel na si ln. Natira na lang dito is absolute value of y or so e to the 1 fourth t times e to the c. Bakit ganito nangyari? Kasi if this is multi if you're going to multiply them e to the 1 fourth t times e to the c, what you're going to do is you're going to add the exponent. So from here, nangyari ganito. So you just multiply and then it's as if you distribute the exponent. So y now would be equal to to get the absolute value value and then and then e to the c mauna si e to the c because this is constant e to the one fourth t so e to the one fourth t <clears throat> and then you're going to let this be equal to a so we represent a by e to the c then so substitute y is equal to a e to the power of 1 fourth t. So that's the answer where a is a real number. So this is now the 
solution. So a y is equal to a e to the one fourth t, where a is any real number. So it represents any real numbers. For number two, two y dx minus three x dy. So if you're the first thing you're going to do is separate those yung mga x at saka mga, mga y. So, transpose mo ito sa kabila. So, magiging 2y dx is equal to positive 3x dy. So, next is, um, kailangan mo ihiwalay si y at saka si x, si y at saka si x. So, if we're going to make it na ang x nandito sa kabila, or it's easier if we're going to transpose yung, yung mga variables na nang. So, ilipat muna natin si y. So, para malipat si y, divide both sides para makancel siya. So, ang matira na nandito is 2dx is equal to 3x dy over y. So, paano naman makancel si x? Paano siya malipat doon? So, divide mo rin again by x. So, divide both sides by x. So, cancel si x. So, natira na nandito is 3 over y dy. Tapos, dito naman si 2 over x dx. So, you could simply divide both sides by x, y, x, y. So, that's how you're going to transpose it. So, so this is now the separated equation. So, what we're going to do is find the integral. So, it will become 2 ln of x. Sorry for that line. Is equal to 3 ln of y plus C. We're going to add C in here on the right side. Next. Kasi Y ang hinahanap natin. So, we're going to transpose si C doon sa kabila. So, maging negative C. However, if you do remember, ang itong 2, pwede mo itong ilipat dito siya. So, just like ln of x squared is equal to 2 ln of x. So, if you're going to interchange it from here, it will become like this. So, gawin mo siyang exponent. So, x squared minus c excuse me for not properly writing the equation sorry sorry ln y to the power of 3 so sorry for this so next um para makancel c c ln we're going to write e so e e to the ln of x squared minus c e to the ln of absolute value of y cube. So, cancel c. Dito, cancel si ln. So, matira dito is y cube. So, absolute value of y cube. And here, so, distribute natin x squared times e to the negative c. So, dito, makancel si ln. So, matira na lang dyan is si ln. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. C x squared, absolute value of x squared, times e to the negative c is equal to absolute value of y cubed. So from here, it became like this. So, so from this one, what we're going to do is, para makansa si, si 3 dito, kailangan na si y lang di ba matira. So what we're going to do is cube root. So cube root of this one. So cube root both sides. So, find the cube root for both sides. So, makancel siya. So, natira na lang si y. Get the absolute value. So, dito naman, it's absolute, it's a cube root of e to the negative c times, distribute the cube root, cube root of x squared. So, absolute value of x squared. So, because it is x squared, ibig sabihin yan, and any number would have positive result. So, you could simply erase the the absolute value. Kasi x squared siya, ibig sabihin, magiging positive rin siya. So, and, if you're going to erase it, ang 2 cube root of x squared is also equal to x to the power of 2 over 3. 2 over 3. So, for this one, let a be cube root of e to the negative c. Therefore, y is equal to a x to the 2 third. So, this is now the answer, the solution for the differential equation. So, next, let's have number 3, which is quite complicated. So, dy over dx is equal to y, 1 plus e to the next quantity, 1 plus e to the x. So, first thing we're going to do is, we're going to 
transpose lahat ng may y sa left side at saka lahat ng may x to the right side. So, ito si y, lipat mo doon. So, divide both sides. But it's easier pala kapag in times muna natin ang dx. So, tapos, so, mag, ang mangyari, dy dx times 1 over y, which is equal to cancel dito. So, matira na lang is 1 plus e to the x. Tapos dito, times mo, kasi sa denominator si dx, so ang gagawin mo, instead of divide, is it times mo ang dx. So, you multiply dx. So, should have not written this one. So, cancel si dx. So, matira dyan is 1 over y times dy is equal to 1 plus e to the x dx. So, find the integral. So, the integral of this one is ln absolute value of y is equal to, so you can distribute this, so 1 dx plus e to the x dx. So, ln of absolute value of y is equal to, the integral of 1 is 1x, the integral of e to the x is the same e to the x plus c. So, para makancel si ln, so lagyan natin ng e, gawin natin siyang exponent c, itong bawat um, both sides. So, cancel ito siya. So, natira na lang dyan is the absolute value of y e to the x times kasi kapag plus so, e to the e to the x plus or, sorry, sorry, e to the c. So, so to simplify, y is equal to let a be e equal to a to the c. So, a e to the x times e to the e to the x. Or, it may be simpler, y is equal to a e to the power of x plus e to the x. So, that's the answer for number 3. I hope it's correct. So, that's ends for solving differential equations.